Clara Joins the Circus by Michael Pulaski and pictures by Drew Kelly. Clara Cow was bored. Every day she got up at dawn. She nibbled grass all day. She went to bed at sunset. Nothing exciting ever happened. One afternoon, Clara heard strange noises. She went up the hill to have a look. From the hilltop, Clara saw a circus parade. The ringmaster who was leading the parade shouted, Halt! The parade stopped. We'll camp here, said the ringmaster. Circus life must be exciting, said Clara to herself. I wonder if I could join. So she walked down the hill to the circus camp. She came face to face with the ringmaster. Clara smiled. My name is Clara. I'd like to join the circus. The ringmaster said, we're always looking for new acts. What can you do? Clara gulped. I've never worked in a circus, she said. I don't know what I can do. Don't give up, the ringmaster told her. You'll have a chance to try out. I'll try my best, Clara promised. I want to join the circus more than anything. Good, said the ringmaster. Let's start with tightrope walking. Clara climbed the ladder. She stepped out on the thin, tight line. Oh, oh, Clara said. She began to wobble. The rope began to wobble. Whoops, cried Clara. Help! Curse splash! Clara tumbled off the tightrope right into a tub of water. Well, so much for tightrope walking, Clara said. What's next? Juggling, said the ringmaster. Clara picked up three heavy wooden pins. She tossed them into the air and tried to juggle. Bonk, bonk, bonk. One of the pins landed on Clara's head. Ouch, 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 she moaned. I guess I can't juggle either. Maybe I'm a trapeze artist. Soon Clara was high above the center ring hanging from a trapeze. Here I go, she yelled. But Clara wasn't a trapeze artist. Nibbling grass all day had made her too heavy. The rope snapped. Down came the trapeze, down came Clara Cow into the safety net. Now what, asked the ringmaster. Clara thought a minute. I'll be the first cow to be shot out of a cannon, she said. The ringmaster shook his head as Clara climbed into the cannon. Halfway in, Clara got stuck. Get me out of here, she hollered. A great big elephant came to Clara's rescue. She wrapped her trunk around Clara and pulled and pulled and pulled. Finally, out popped Clara. Why don't you help me set up tents? The elephant suggested. I'll try, said Clara. So off they went. But when Clara aimed to hit a peg, she hit her foot instead. Yow, she bellowed. No, said the ringmaster. You can't sit up tents either. Please, begged Clara. Give me another chance. There aren't many jobs left, said the ringmaster. Do you want to be a lion tamer? No, thank you, Clara quickly answered. How about being the target for the knife thrower? I don't think so, Clara replied. I can't think of anything else, said the ringmaster. She could sell peanuts and popcorn to the crowd, the elephant suggested. I know I could do that, cried Clara. Well, all right, agreed the ringmaster. Clara went to the main tent. The ringmaster gave her a uniform to wear and a tray filled with bags of peanuts and popcorn. 
Walk across the tent and into the stands, he told her. Let me hear you yell, peanuts and popcorn. Eagerly, Clara walked toward the stand. She did not look where she was going. Just as she passed the doorway, the clouds came rushing in. Clara didn't see the clowns. Oh no, cried the ringmaster. Bump, splash, crash. Clara went flying this way. Clowns went flying that way. Peanuts and popcorn went flying every which way. Luckily, no one was hurt. Suddenly, the ringmaster began to laugh. Soon everyone in the tent was laughing. What a great entrance, said the ringmaster. We'll make that accident the opening of the clown act, said the ringmaster. It will be terrific. Will you do it? You mean I can join the circus, said Clara. You sure can, said the ringmaster. Yahoo, shouted Clara. And that is how Clara Cow joined the circus. The end.